This is We've Been Drinking MMA Podcast. I'm talking about the Vitor Petrino versus Mudestas Bukakis. Bu, bu, yeah, Mudestas. I'm just going to stay there. Um, in the Almeida versus Lewis fight, or card, and I'm going uh, Vitor Petrino. Yep, that's Lousy's pick. This is backhand. My pick is, is also Vitor Petrino, and I got to say, this is my favorite. This is my favorite mismatch of the event. I, I think Vitor Petrino has it all over Modestus Bukaskis. Not only is Vitor Petrino undefeated, um, but he's uh, he's nine and zero, and he's got seven finishes. But guess what? He just finished his last fight too, which is his second fight in the UFC by submission against Mar- Marcin Prachnio. And Prachnio is no joke. And Prachnio is no joke because Prachnio is a 50-50 fighter in the UFC, but he he has fought good fighters, and he even has a win. Uh, over Khalil Roundtree, who a lot of people think is a you know he's definitely a definitely top fighter. seven as far as striking in in the light heavyweight division, no doubt. Like what he did to Chris Dawkins, amazing, amazing. Oh my God. So knocked him out in the first round, I think it was, might have been the second round, but it was unbelievable performance. And you just see him leveling up, and that was just two years ago. Prashino had a had a win, dis, uh, decision, unanimous decision win over Khalil Roundtree, and Petrino submitted. Uh, and, and and roughed up on the feet, uh, Prachnio. So, and then you look at Modestus Bukaskis, and we got to say Petrino is minus 260 here, $260 to profit 100, but it's every bit, it makes sense because, again, he's undefeated and he's fighting Modestus Bukaskis in this fight. Bukaskis is 2 0 as well. They both are 2 0 in the UFC. However, uh, Bukaskis actually fought in the UFC prior uh, about two years ago, three years ago, and he went actually one and three and then got released. After his last loss, he went on a three fight losing skid, and his last loss was against Khalil Roundtree, who we just talked about. Um, and then he came back after uh, a, a couple years, and now he's two and oh in the UFC. Um, but the thing is, is with uh, Modestus Bukaskis, is, is he the power just isn't there. You know, proof is, is that in the UFC, he only has one KO and that was his first fight, uh, three years ago. And again, we said that he went 0 and 3 in his, uh, after that, and then got KO'd twice, uh, in that three fight losing skid. Now he's back two decision wins and he's a decision fighter, honestly, is what he actually is as far as like fighting high level fighters he or good, quick, good fighters. I'm sorry. No, interrupt. go ahead, bud. Uh, he has quick uh, counters. That's, um, uh, that's the only thing I could see, uh, with him against Petrino. Because he doesn't take people down. Like in the last three fights, he doesn't. He hasn't taken anybody down. Like not even an mm-hmm. attempt. Mm-hmm. Not not even one attempt. So if you're gonna try to stand and throw with this guy, it's gonna. This guy's dangerous. Um. um the only way is if you catch him on a counter. And yeah. He has quick counters. But he doesn't have the power. But he doesn't have the power to get him out of there. Right. Because Petrino is a big guy, for a two hundred five. He looks bigger than actually. He looks bigger than than Modestus. Yeah, so and the Modestus is taller. Yeah, I mean he just looks bigger. It's uh, Modestus has like a, a Bokaskis has a one inch reach advantage, so it's negligible. Um, Vitor Petrina's on the rise. He's twenty six years old. Bokaskis, like we said, is his second run in the UFC. He is two and zero in his last run in the UFC, but overall he is three and three. And 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 Petrino is just on the rise. So listen, but Modestus Bokaskis problem with him in this fight is is that. You know, he does like to keep a decent distance and then kind of punch long range, you know, longer punches. But when he's backing up, he is slow and his head is there to be hit. His defense is not back. Yeah, straight back with just one arm up. And it's like kind of like loose. It's not very tight. His chin is not tucked. It's up in the air. And he is slow moving backwards against a guy like Vitor Petrino. Vitor Petrino in this fight, Vitor Petrino has a big advantage because he's faster than Bukaskis. He's got more power than Bukaskis. He's got the combinations. His leg kick is unbelievable. His counter punches, even if he glances you, he could probably knock uh, people down. People like Petrino are going to get knocked down by just glancing uh, blows. Even if you block it, you still might get knocked out, you know? <laughs> Petrino is, the ter- I, I would say the Terminator is a phenomenal nickname for him. Yes. You know what I mean? He is super dangerous. Like he said, he can clip Bacoscus with anything. Leg kicks are faster. Um, uh, combinations are faster. Counters are faster. Faster fighter in general. Bacoscus can slow it backing up. It spells doom for B- Modestus Bacoscus. This is, for me, my m- most confident pick of the night, and I'm just super happy to see Vitor Petrino fight again because I'm just... I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of, of just his work in there and how he's improving and how dangerous he is and continuously like he's actually upping the level of danger every fight as far as his his skills yeah. 
his power, his speed, his how he how he is opportunistic. How it's calm amazing he is. how calm he is. Yeah, um, yeah, like exactly. It's it's like again a, a guy who can punch you from anywhere type guy, and he's at light heavyweight, two hundred five pounds. So it's super exciting to see a guy as dynamic as this um, at, at a high uh, heavyweight class like this. So thank you so much for this uh, listening to this breakdown. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks, everybody.